Hello, my name is Kathy and I work for Dr. Janet Crane. Since her retirement from her dental practice, Janet has refocused her energy on helping people around the world envision their future by teaching them not just how to live well, but how to become the absolute best version of themselves. She has received several emails on her vision board workshop, so I decided to sit her down and ask her the FAQ so she can answer them directly. Janet, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Carol asks, how did you get involved in vision boards? Hi, Carol. In 1984, my life was going along pretty well, and then all of a sudden it began to unravel. I lost my job. I was in the middle of a divorce. I had a young baby, and I had a lot of student debt. I sat down, and I started cutting out pictures because I had no clue of what my future looked like anymore. I thought I had it all mapped out for me, and then I lost my, my way. So I started cutting out pictures of what I envisioned my future like. I envisioned a good paying job with enough money to pay off my student debt. I envisioned a new place to live and a new relationship. I envisioned different things that I wanted in my life that made me feel that there was hope for my future. And that's when I began to use vision boards to guide my journey. And it's been great ever since. I've made many, many vision boards. Thanks, Gil. Okay, Sharon asked, what is the purpose of a vision board? For me, the purpose of a vision board is to become a visionary in your own life to have a conversation and plant the seeds and the fertilizer in your subconscious mind of what you want. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination in the subconscious mind. So for years, athletes before a big race or before a big match have visualized how it's going to go. And they found out that it's as successful and giving them a, a new attitude and mindset, getting them ready. So why not take the skill and use it to envision your life for your future to make it better? Great question. Joyce wants to know, what should I put on my vision board? That's always a big question, what to put on your vision board. Anything that inspires you and motivates you. The purpose of your vision board is to think about your goals, think about your wants, think about where your life is heading. And that's what you want to put on your vision board. 10% of your thinking is conscious. 90% of your thinking is subconscious. So a picture tells a thousand, with a, uses a thousand words that you could think of. So by putting pictures on this vision board, you're giving your subconscious mind messages and new beliefs to stop believing in. So that's what you should put on your vision board, things that motivate you and inspire you. Okay. Danielle wants to know, is it only pictures? <laughs> that's a good question. We live in a very cerebral world. Many people believe that that 10%, your conscious mind, is the only mind that there is. So what I did in one of my vision boards is I put words over here to kind of distract my conscious mind where the rest of my vision is all pictures so that every day when I look at this vision board, I'm reinforcing what I want in my future. This is my vision. So as a visionary, I have a lot of pictures that talk directly to my subconscious mind. Okay. Kathy and quite a few others have asked, why do you have people draw a tree in the center of the board? A few years ago, I learned how to interpret a, a tree drawing. Metaphors, since the time of the Garden of Eden and even before that, trees have been used as a symbol of people's personality. When you draw a tree in the center of your board, it's the fertilizer because when I interpret it, I can tell you about your influences, how you're rooted, how you branch out, and all that information helps you create a vision for yourself that not only nourishes and nurtures your soul, but also makes you the best person that you could possibly be. Good question. 
Joy asks, should I have one main vision board or a bunch of small ones for the different areas of my life? I have more than one vision board. I have work vision boards and personal vision boards, and I actually have a vision board inside of my journal. I just paste some pictures because what I want is that all of me, my mind, both all my mind, is involved in the right mindset for what I'm doing and where I'm going in the future. So I believe in many vision boards. Okay, good question. Jack asks, how often should I redo my vision board? I think that a vision board is a living process, so you're always redoing it. Recently, I saw this bowl of chicken soup, and I just felt like it was like reminding me that you have to nourish your soul. And that's why I pasted it there. But the picture that always remains is a picture of me and my husband, because I always want to keep the passion alive, and I always want to be married to him. So that's always on my vision board. So you can decide as you go along, if you see something, like I saw that bowl of chicken soup that you want for your future, just add it to your vision board. When you want to become specific about one topic, you can start with a clean slate and, and do a vision board just on a business topic if you're trying to get clarity or get a new vision for your business. You can start with a new vision board, but you can use many vision boards. Okay, good. Biz wants to know how to register for a vision board workshop. It's easy to register. You go to my website, janetcrane.com slash events, and you will see vision boards right there, and you click on the one that it fits into your schedule. I do them online and in person so that if you're not in New Jersey, you can do it online, and it's amazing technology, so I get to see you, you get to see me and all the participants. It's really fun online. It is fun. Now, Andrea asks, what if I have more questions? Andrea, if you have any questions, in the middle of my website, it says talk to Janet. Just type in your question, and we'll answer your question right away. We love to talk to you. We'd love to have you join our Vision Board Workshop. It's so much fun and so insightful and adds so much clarity. And who doesn't want to have clarity in their life nowadays? So please join me and ask me any questions you want. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you, Janet.